What's up, Bills Mafia? With the Bills' 2017 win over the Chiefs this past Sunday, the Bills are starting to smell the playoffs. And guys, I got five takeaways from that game. But before we get to that, let's get to that intro. Welcome to the Mafia Sports Report. I am Tommy. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell because I always forget to tell you. Well, Bills Mafia, the Bills are starting to smell a playoff berth after that 2017 win over the Kansas City Chiefs. And boy, oh boy, that was a close one. But all that matters is we got the dub. Um, and by the way, my God, what a weekend if you are Bills Mafia. The Dolphins with a surprise loss. On Monday Night Football to the Titans. Unbelievable. I did not see that coming, uh, especially late in that game when the Dolphins took a 14-point lead um, on two turnovers back-to-back -back by the Titans. And it just seemed like the Titans were toast at that point. Five minutes to go in the game, and the Titans storm back and take the lead and win the ball game. Unbelievable turn of events in Miami. Uh, but, man, boy, thank you, Tennessee. That really did help. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, I got five takeaways uh, from that game. Let's go ahead and bring them up real quick to you guys. Here we go, five takeaways. Uh, and, once again, shout out to Bill's Wire for creating this article. Okay, here we go. Fast start. Reg regardless of outcome, it's always good to get off to a fast start. Fresh off their bye, the Bills took a 14-0 lead on the Chiefs thanks to a touchdown catch from running back James Cook and a rush from quarterback Josh Allen. We're not, we're not far removed from this team getting off to terrible starts to games. That looks to have changed. And, yes, that's good, but it, it they also stalled after that fast start. That we need to fix. That we need to correct moving forward. And I think Joe Brady will. And I think this, ga this game was a lesson learned uh, for Joe Brady. And he'll be watching a lot of film, um, you know, this week uh, with that game. Uh, because, listen, there was – I really felt like the Chiefs, when we took that lead, their defense adjusted. And I felt like Joe Brady – never really adjusted to their pressure on Josh Allen. And the Chiefs just brung it all night long, and we had no answer. Um, and we scored six points uh, after that. That was it. Two field goals. And luckily, we held on to, to beat the Chiefs 2017. But we got to be better on offense. We have to pass, protect better for Josh Allen. We got Our receivers have to play better. Um you know, none of our receivers stepped up that game. Zero. Um, so, luckily, James Cook, um, off the bye week, had some juice because I felt like everyone, including Stefan Diggs, as far as the receivers go, they were sluggish, very sluggish um, out there. And maybe that was just the bye week. You know, you know how that goes, guys. Sometimes coming off a of bye week, teams get a little sluggish. And I felt like the receivers, the, all of them, were very sluggish. Um, but listen, let's hope now, by the way, real quick, we are seven and zero now, um, after the bye week, Sean McDermott, but I got to say, we've always played a little sluggish coming out of, of our bye weeks always. And I really hope that that's not the case now because yes, we might be seven and zero, but the following game, we really showed like how sluggish we were. And we usually, I believe we go back in time. We've lost that second game coming off the bye week. So we need to, uh, you know, understand that we need to win the remaining remaining games to get into the playoffs, in my opinion. So next week or this weekend coming up, huge game against the Cowboys. They need to be on their A game. They can. This offensive line has to pass protect better. Um, the receivers need to wake the fuck up, and because that's a tough Dallas team. So if, if we're expecting to win, 
These guys need to perform better, plain and simple. Okay, next up. James Cook, he's good. All right, speaking of Cook, the Bills are looking for playmakers aside from Stephon Diggs. The Bills' number one receiver was quiet for most of the day in Kansas City, but Buffalo got a heck of a game from their running back. Along with Cook's touchdown catch, he had 50 yards, 58 yards rushing. On top of that, he led the Bills in receiving with 83 yards. Yeah, Cook had himself a game. And guys, by the way, you know how I feel about Cook. I still don't think he's a three-down back. I like James Cook. I really do. I like his speed. I like his pass-catching ability. But the problem is there's a major problem with his game is pass protection. He's a liability out there, and that's why you don't see James Cook out there a lot. Um, if, he could, if he could pass protect better, James Cook would be a, a really good running back. He would get a lot more carries. It's just he's a liability with pass protection, and that's why a lot of Bills Mafia is like, why isn't James Cook out there? Why isn't James Cook out there? It's because his pass protection is really bad. Um, hopefully, he puts on a little weight in the offseason coming up, um, and, and he gets better at pass protection because we really need him to get better at that. Uh, but overall, his game was great. Loved it. Uh, you know, unlike the week before or two weeks before that when we played Philly and he dropped the pass, which is not like him, um, he caught this one for a touchdown, uh, first touchdown of the game, and it was beautiful. By the way, well executed. Uh, great play call by Joe Brady and well executed by, by Josh Allen and James Cook on that play. You got to give him props for that. So, uh, James Cook, we need that. We, we need you to continue to play like that moving forward. Um, we need all our players to uh, play, a, you know, A-level type football, right? All right, next up. Chiefs stick around. They did. They did. Despite all that went right uh, early, it did not continue. The Bills had the Chiefs in prime spot to put a death nail in the game early, and they did and they did not do it. Uh, Casey snuck back into the contest with how up and down the Chiefs uh, have looked all season. Another first half touchdown might have ended it early for the Bills. I agree. But that's what I'm talking about when, when I'm talking about um, Joe Brady and the adjustments. Listen, it's a chess match. It's a chess match between the defensive coordinator and the offensive coordinator, right? And if you don't adjust during a game, in the course of a game, you are screwed. And I felt like Joe Brady just did not adjust. And it happens. Listen, he's 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 fresh at the position. Um, and, you know, uh, DC uh, Casey has a very good DC, and they have a very good defense. So um, it is what it is, and we did hang on for that win. But, yeah, we need to, you know, be better on offense. We need to score more points than that. Luckily, we went against a Chiefs team who was a little deflated uh, at the receiver position, and we got a, a call finally that went our way uh, at the end of the game there uh, with Tony being offsides. By the way, he was offside. So, yes, the referees have been awful this season, okay, for every team, no doubt about it. Probably the worst I've seen since watching the NFL. Terrible. However, you can't argue that call. He was offsides, okay? They saw it. They called it. It is what it is. Guess what, though? You still had two more downs to go to make up for it. So I don't want to hear about it. Um, you lost. And that's the way a cookie crumbles sometimes. All right, next up. The fourth quarter. It took some help, but the Bills closed out a game on defense. The Chiefs got back into it, as noted, in the fourth quarter. Buffalo's offense mustered up a field goal to take a 2017 lead, which the defense held onto. A penalty helped, and it was a clear one, too. Chiefs receiver Kadarius Toney lined up offsides on a play that turned out to be a touchdown for KC. The play was called back fairly, and the Bills held on. Losing in one-score games has been a problem, but not in KC. Um, yeah, and, that, and that's it for that article. And I agree, man, like, this is the finally, 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 the Buffalo Bills defense holds on. Now, they did it a few times against the Giants. Um, they did it against Tampa. But those are two teams that, let's face the facts, they don't have Patrick Mahomes. They don't have Travis Kelsey, right? 
uh, and they don't have Andy Reid as a head coach. So this was a little bit of different uh, game where the Bills defense was going against one of the best, if not, you know, arguably, you know, some people call him the best quarterback in the game and one of the best coaches in the game. Uh, and the Bills defense held on. And yes, they, you know, they got, they got one from the refs, but that was, uh, like I said earlier, a good call. Um, and the Bills, like I said, KC still had two opportunities at that point, right? They still had two. And the Bills defense still could have folded, and they did not, right? Ed Oliver got in with the uh, uh, tip, tip pass, uh, and Leonard Floyd uh, with the pass breakup, uh, or, or, or actually getting the pass rush on Mahomes, forcing him to throw the ball a little bit earlier than he, what he wanted to and overthrown. And that was the ball game. The pressure is what did it. And I'm glad that the guys got home finally and got to Mahomes because you can't keep Mahomes back there. Um, having him do what he wants to do. Right. Um, so guys, overall, my God, this was a great weekend. Now we didn't move up. Okay. We didn't move up in the playoffs, but a lot of teams, Drop. Let me show you guys real quick uh, what we're looking at right now as far as division goes uh, in the NFL, the playoffs, and all that good stuff. So let me share that screen for you real quick because I'm a nice guy like that. All right. Let's see here. Let's see here. All right. So let's take a look at the standings real quick before I let you guys go. By the way, I'm going to be doing another video uh, shortly on um, – the stock up stock down so you don't want to miss that either all right so here we go so look at the dolphins after that loss nine and four buffalo seven to six were two games uh let's see if i can get a better angle at that how can i get a better angle at that guys there we go uh there we go here we go so uh the dolphins with that loss go to nine and four buffalo goes to seven and six that's huge guys um huge because if the buffalo bills win out okay uh, and the Dolphins lose one more game, that either being uh, at Baltimore or Dallas, and they beat the Dolphins week 18, the Buffalo Bills will win the AFC East. Wild, right? Wild uh, turn of events as far as uh, the AFC East goes. And let's look at the playoff race. So Baltimore now is your number one team right now in the AFC at 10 and 3. The Dolphins 9 and 4. KC 8 and 5. Jacksonville 8 and 5. The Browns, which is unbelievable to me, 8 and 5 with a third string guy, a guy off the bench, and Joe Flacco, or off the streets, actually, Joe Flacco. Uh, I just, I still don't see that lasting long, but their defense uh, is pretty good over there in Cleveland. So they're keeping them definitely in games. Uh, I really wish Jacksonville would have took care of business when they played them, but they did not. Um, it is what it is. Then you got Pittsburgh, who's falling apart at seven and six. Uh, you got the Colts, seven and six, who are also falling apart, in my opinion. You got the Texans, who lost their number one wide receiver in Tank Dell. Uh, their quarterback got a concussion uh, over the weekend when they played the Jets, which, by the way, I predicted the Jets to win that game. I didn't think they would squash them. But I thought they would win because of the Jets defense and Stroud being a rookie and Tank Dell being out. Um, I think the Texans right now are in some trouble. Denver at seven and six, they they have been playing better football. We'll see if that can. Uh, let's see how they play down the stretch. You got the Bengals uh, seven and six. I still don't believe in them either with Browning or I, I don't know if it's going on with his finger. Uh, and then you, here we go, Buffalo Bills seven and six. Okay. And then you got the rest here, five and eight, five and eight. I don't think any of these teams um, have an opportunity to make the playoffs. The Chargers, the Raiders, the Jets, uh, and the Titans. Obviously, the Patriots at three and ten are eliminated. But they, the Patriots, thank you. They they, they actually uh, got a win for us the other day as well. So um, yeah, there's still an opportunity right here uh, to win the AFC East. And who knows uh, what happens with the overall AFC pitcher, but. Right now, our goal is to get in the playoffs, plain and simple. If we don't win the East, it is what it is. Uh, but getting in, the, it, once you get into the dance, anything can happen. So that's where we, that's where our focus should be, getting into the playoffs, and then from there we we do what we do. I got to tell you though, right now, if we go ahead and win the remaining uh, games on our schedule, 
the last four, watch the fuck out. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, the NFL will be put on notice by the Buffalo Bills. Um, I told you guys my feelings about Sean McDermott. Um, and I also told you I will eat crow if Sean McDermott goes ahead and turns this thing around uh, and gets us to a Super Bowl. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I'll sit here and I, I will make an apology video. Um, but, you know, I, I'll give this team credit um, because they are fighting um, and, and, and they're clawing their way back uh, into this this playoff hunt. Um, but you got to also understand, too, man, these guys, these group of men that are on this team, um, they're fighters, man. And they've been on this team for a long time, a lot of them, right? Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer, Josh Allen. Um, you know, they've all been here a while. Dawson Knox, you know. So, you know, even the guys that are hurt, right? Trey White, Matt Milano. These guys, man, I'm telling you, man, they're fighters. They believe in each other. That locker room still believes, uh, you know, that they can that they can win a Super Bowl. And, and you know, sometimes that's, all, that, that's what matters, you know. But they got to show it. They got to put it on the field. Um, and they got to, listen, right now, I told you guys, if they beat Dallas, I truly believe they will win out. I, I do, uh, but it's, I'm going to tell you right now, it ain't going to be no easy out. A lot of people got Dallas as one of the better top five teams in the NFL right now, uh, especially how they handled Philadelphia this past Sunday. They squashed Philadelphia. Um, so right now they're on a high, definitely on a high, but they're coming to Buffalo Sunday night football. We will be ready. <laughs> and if they think they're going to come here to Buffalo, and do what they did against Philly, they got another thing coming. We that's one thing we don't do. We don't get blown out like that. We will it, it's a dog fight. Every time you play the Buffalo Bills, win or lose, you are gonna have a you're gonna have a dog fight on your hands. So uh Bills Mafia, what I could tell you is whoever's going to that game, be fucking loud. Be loud, throw Dallas off, don't be quiet, which I never think you are, but I want you to be super fucking loud and i want you to represent the bills well because we got this guys let's continue to do this one game at a time take care of business at home against dallas and i think the rest of the games we can we, we can take care of business and we can win out and go into the playoffs as one of the hottest nfl teams so bills mafia you know i love you and as always go bills and i'm out of here peace and look at go. He could go all the way. Touchdown! 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 The Bills make me wanna Shout. kick your heels up and Shout. throw your hands up and Shout. throw your head back and Shout. come on now. The Bills are making it happen now. Stand up now, come on and shout! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.